and sit down. Welcome back to another review by Fat Ninja Studios. I'm your host, Jackie Kay, and today we are tinkering with F9, the ninth installment of the Fast and Furious franchise. Before we get started, please give this video a like and make sure you subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to switch on that bell icon to stay notified with our latest releases. Three, two, one, go! This film kicks off with a flashback to Dom in his teen years, working on race cars with his dad and brother. During a race, a mechanical failure causes Dom's father to crash and die in an explosion. Flash forward to present day and we've now got Dom in full on dad mode, teaching Brian Jr. how to fix an engine. Some cars show up and Dom and Letty go on full alert, thinking it's somebody there to harm them. But it turns out to be the rest of their family. They explain that Mr. Nobody sent them the cryptic message before his plane went down and they gotta try and save him. Dom says no at first, but family. There's always room for family. And then agrees. They head to the plane crash site and find part of a device called Ares and that Cypher has escaped. Let me just say, whoever gave Charlize Theron that haircut should be fired. Anyway, they are suddenly set upon by local militia, and while they escape with their lives, they lose the Ares device. The leader of the private army is none other than Dom's younger brother. John C. Uh, I mean Jacob. The Fast family head to a safe house where some investigation leads them to discover their old friend Han is connected to the Ares device. Needing more info, Dom decides to meet up with Queenie while Letty and Mia head to Tokyo. Mia and Letty find Han while Tej and Roman recruit Sean and Earl from Tokyo Drift, who have built a rocket-powered car. Dom gets some info on Jacob from Queenie in London before confronting him and his partner Otto in a mansion. Dom is arrested as Otto is a diplomat, but somehow sprung out of jail by Cardi B. Go figure. The team then head to Edinburgh, where the second half of the Ares device is located. Here they try to steal it before Jacob can, and find out how he is interrupting all signals using a giant system of magnets. However, when Jacob tries to escape, the Fast family manage to overtake the magnet semi and use it to capture him. I'm not sure if Roman and Tej made it out of the back of the truck before they turned on the super magnet, but since it sucks the car straight in and crushes the whole trailer, maybe Roman was onto something when he said they were invincible. Not happy with the progress on his evil plans, Otto recruits Cypher, whom he kidnapped from the government and has been using for information. Back at the safe house, Han reveals that the young woman with him is key to the Ares device, or rather her DNA specifically. He also explains that Jacob was the operative who went rogue under Mr. Nobody's watch, and so they faked his death using Deckard Shaw. Suddenly, Otto shows up, frees Jacob, and takes the girl and the second Ares device. Jacob reveals that their dad was intentionally going to throw the race to pay back some debts, but someone interfered with the sabotage and it resulted in his death. They leave the Fast family to die, but Dom goes ham and starts suplexing dudes all over the place before somehow ripping iron chains out of the ceiling and bringing a building down around him. He is rescued from death by Letty. Meanwhile, Otto launches a satellite into space and then has the girl activate the Ares device. Of course, it doesn't work as soon as you turn it on, so it gives our heroes enough time to assemble and foil their plans. Tej and Roman are sent into space via the rocket car in a scene where I almost just quit watching. And the rest try to get the command center truck to stop and deactivate the weapon. Otto betrays Jacob for Cypher, and so naturally Jacob switches to Dom's side and helps stop the truck by magnetizing themselves to it and slamming on their brakes. In space, Tej and Roman just fly into the satellite and it explodes. Back on Earth, Cypher gets super pissed and uses a drone jet to try and take out Dom, who surfs on the bottom of an overturned super truck down a mountainside and uses the tail end of the truck to swat it out of the sky. Yep. 
Cypher escapes into the next movie, and Dom gives Jacob a car to drive off into the sunset. The film concludes with a barbecue at Dom's house, and at the very end, even Brian shows up. But wait, there's more! At the end of the main credits, we see Deckard Shaw beating a punching bag when it's revealed that Otto is inside. Then there's a knock at the door, and dun dun dun! It's Han, here for revenge. Or maybe to thank him for helping him fake his death? Guess we'll have to find out in the final film. Overall, I mean, it's a Fast and Furious film. They went off the rails pretty much after the third entry. Plot is irrelevant, family is all that matters. And it's funny that they bring up physics in the film a lot since most of the stunts defy anything natural. Though, entertainment-wise, it was a fun experience, although it felt longer than it needed to be. I found myself questioning how long I'd been watching during the third act, but otherwise I endured the film for what it is. I'm gonna give it a straight 7 out of 10. If you're looking for explosions and people angrily staring at each other while cars go vroom vroom, this is definitely the movie for you. I tell you though, Someday I want Neil deGrasse Tyson to dissect all the stunts in this film, if they're even physically possible. With that out of the way, I want to say thank you for checking out our video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to our channel. We're so close to hitting the 100 subs, so we'd really appreciate it. If you're feeling generous, please check out our Patreon, linked below in the description. You can also reach out to us on Twitter, at StudiosFat or chat with us on Discord, which is also linked below. I've been your host, Jackie Kay, and before I go, family is important, but blood doesn't always make them family. Your best friends, the people who look out for you and tell you the truth and accept you for who you are, that's what real family is like. Make sure you remind them how much you appreciate them from time to time. We are all in this together. Thanks again, and take care. Shut up and sit down.